क्या है इट इज गुड टू बी बैक विथ ऑल ऑफ यू एंड स्टार्ट द न्यू ईयर द मीडियम सेंस द फन एनर्जी वी आर नॉट एज सिली एज यू माई सीम सो देर माई बी एन अदर एज यू नो देर आर सेवल हू स्पीक विथ ईच ऑफ दीज सेशंस एंड वर स्टिल हेल्पिंग द मीडियम गेट आउट ऑफ द वे For sure, her mind has been busy. Much to do, much excitement. <laughs> As it is with all of you, planning and and visualizing and feeling your way into your dreams and goals for the new year. Are you not? Have you not started? <laughs> Or it is time if you did not already start doing it before the end of the previous year it's time to start now for the energies are with you there is still much light for the creation energies you are creators and we have spoken about this many times and we will not go into hmm, this medium is going to do a workshop later with intention but we're going to have you do some visualizations for those that are here and those that may be listening to work with their own intentions but we will not explain the difference she will teach that later on her own and we will do something similar in a meditation that day as well she already kind of got the information that we're going to help <laughs> or we should say share in the teaching <laughs> and so for those of you who are ready fill yourselves with light for your world is bathing in light and has been since the solstice energies came through and your world past areas in your you would call it space galaxy of high vibration so it is not only light for light if you think about it a flame the intensity of the light the different colors of a flame it it's the heat the intensity it is similar with light each variation or you could say hmm how do you call it wavelength yes wavelength of light has a different intensity but it is all light and so there is different frequencies and wavelengths of light that are bathing your world <clears throat> with each day and more and more are coming and the frequencies are getting stronger you could call it but higher vibration is more accurate and you know this and so with the new year energies use this frequency with which you are bathing in at this time to focus your intentions what do you intend to experience and if a year is too big for you to imagine just think of concepts pictures get the pictures in your minds now dear ones for this is how you create the more you visualize we have not done this in a while but visualize with yourself in the picture whether it be a new job you wish a new home a new car a new relationship not knowing who it is with but see yourself as though you're already feeling the joy the happiness the contentment whatever it is the bliss that you wish to experience remember there is no time as you call it yes your physical forms are dealing with a perceived linear concept of time but your vibration 
goes across space and time. And so whatever you can envision and feel, especially with intensity, emotion, good feeling emotions, the more positive and good feeling, the better because it has more magnetic pull to actually help you bring it into the material world, into your so-called time frame. And we haven't discussed these topics in quite some time, so we are kind of hitting some points here for there may be some new people who listen later, who have not listened to previous messages, and some of this was covered before this medium began doing the videos. So for those of you that are physically here, it is a little bit of review, perhaps, but always repetition is a good thing because the more you hear something, the easier it gets. It sinks in. It's just like a habit. The more you do something repeatedly, the better you get at it. And so the more you hear concepts, the more you hear the same information, perhaps from different points of view, different perspectives, different pictures, as many teachers have used in the past, the easier it is for you to, you could call it, anchor it into your memory banks until it becomes part of your knowledge, just like your name. If anyone asked you your name, you would not have to think about it. It is a knowingness. It is part of your vibration. And so as you create in your world, whatever it is that is part of your vibration becomes part of your experience. Does this make sense? Hmm? Yes, do you understand? Yes. So the key here is what are you vibrating? Hmm? And for this, this night right now, what we are doing is having you Feel and vibrate the joy, the excitement, the ooh anticipation of whatever it is you have been imagining, envisioning, creating, and attaining, and desiring with delicious co-creative energies in your space. Hmm? Sounds good, doesn't it? It's like you're, you were speaking about baking earlier. It's better than baking cookies. You are baking your life. You are cooking. You're in the kitchen. Hmm? And now we get to the little funny part. Huh? So all of you, if you could imagine hmm, in the kitchen, molding. And some of you were talking about uh, the playing with dough. The energies that you create with. It's like the dough that you create a whether it's cookies or pies or whatever for this holiday season, just to give you an easy image that everyone can relate to. Whatever it is you are molding with your hands, you have, what, a ball of dough. It's just a lump. That's what you start out with, yes? It's just formless. And so what happens? You must envision what you want to create from that form. And one of you was talking about the gingerbread houses, another was cookies, another was bread, and that sort of thing, and so we picked up on that. It doesn't matter what you do with your dough, because, and this medium knows, and you all know this, she doesn't really like cooking, so this is not going to work for her. <laughs> but the analogy is fun, and others may relate to this, because it is a good picture. It helps with the lesson. You have to envision, if you have a ball, even if it was a ball of clay, even better for those that might have done some clay pottery work, you start with a blob of clay. And perhaps that's an easier image if some of you have done something like that. But whether it's dough or it's clay, you start out with this formless lump. Where does the creation come from, dear ones? Hmm? Outside of you? No. You envision what you wish to create from that formless lump, whether it's dough or clay. And that image, that intention in your mind, 
that is what gets the so-called ball rolling, as you say, with your creative energies. Because then you focus, you get a picture, right? If you're thinking about, and we'll use the, the clay because there's more options there than perhaps baking. Because you actually end up having something that you don't eat afterwards. It can be a, a figurine, it can be a cup, it can be a plate, it could be a vase if it was glass. It could be so many different things with uh, that sort of modality. But if baking is your thing, then stick with that while we speak. Whatever works for you with these images, we're giving you options. And so imagine whatever it is that you wish to create in your life. And if it is a new house, perhaps you start creating and imagining it as a gingerbread house. <laughs> if you wish it might not be so sturdy in reality, but play with it. Play with the image. Play with the form. If it is a car, whatever it is. If it is a job, that's a little more, we don't want to say less form, but you could picture the people, the situation, how the job makes you feel compared to how you feel now wherever you might be working, if you're not happy. And so whatever it is that you are imagining, see your form, whether it's clay or dough or glass or what have you, whatever medium you wish to create from, begin to see your form take place and unfolding in front of you, feeling the excitement of you molding it, not only with your mind and your intentions, but to have that tactile experience. Imagine if you were actually using your hands, forming it, creating it, getting your hands dirty, playing, having fun with the process. Because this is meant to be a fun process. If it feels like drudgery, you're putting the wrong energy toward your creation and stop and walk away. You are not ready and in the right frame of mind or vibration to create anything good if you don't feel good when you begin. That is the first starting point. You must feel as good as you can even in thinking about what is possible and what you intend to create. Otherwise, you wouldn't do it, right? You wouldn't play a game if you already knew the outcome. You wouldn't create something if somebody made it for you because someone gave it to you. The whole point is you are creative beings and the excitement of being a creator is what gets the juices flowing within your life. And when people are not using their creative juices, so to speak, their creative energies, to literally create something from a space of anticipation and excitement, they're unhappy, they're bored, they're miserable because they're not creating. You are born creators. Always find something to create. It doesn't have to be big, but always have something within your mindset, within your intention, always some sort of goal, dream, desire. And if you don't, it is as though you have given up the game of life. And then, dear ones, is a very sad moment because you completely forgot the game of life. You play games to have fun. And other speakers have talked about this before. So do everything that you create from a space of enjoyment and fun and excitement and anticipation. And if you can maintain some semblance of that frequency, that emotion, it doesn't have to be on a 10 out of 10 all the time, but still a higher intention the higher intensity, good feeling emotion, the majority of the time, not 100% of the time, because you can't hold a high vibration of excitement all day. It, it, try to laugh all day. You, 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 you'll just get tired. You'll, you, know, you need the 
the, as you call it, the contrast to help you focus. But get excited as often as you can and feel as good as you can when you are intending to create whatever it is you're intending right now to mold into your experience. For these new year energies are giving you, you could think of it as a blank slate. And some people need blank slates. They just want to say, okay, the last year, I want to forget all about it. But then again, if you forget all about it, did you learn the lessons, the experiences that you were given? Did you grow from them? Use them to enhance your experience. Because everything happens to help you along your path, dear ones. And other speakers have mentioned this as well. We're bouncing around a little bit to help you truly get pieces of the puzzle into place as you're molding whatever it is that you're molding. And we're just planting seeds and refreshing your memory for those who may not remember some of these concepts or have never heard them because hmm, perhaps this is the first lesson they have ever heard for those who may be new to our teachings and with working with this medium. So anyone that may be new, we welcome them and understand that you always have help. Your creative abilities. Yes, you are spirit and you are unlimited potential. But you always have so much help from the other side of the veil, as you would call the spirit realm, to help you, to guide you, to nudge you, to help you with clarity. But the feelings that you have in your physical forms are your gauge and yours alone. Use them to help you navigate your life. Whether it be bumpy or smooth sailing or a little bit in between because hmm, the other analogy for those that might do sailing or boating it's never a 100% calm sea. You always have storms. You always have a little bit of choppy waves that you have to navigate. It's part of life. But as you learn to navigate, you grow. You enhance your knowledge, your wisdom, your clarity and your focus. You gain skills along the way. If everything was, as you call it, roses and smelled good and was just piece of cake, as you call it, you would all get bored. Don't you think? There would be no challenge. There would be no impetus to improve yourself, to grow, to stretch beyond your knowingness. When you realize this, you will be able to embrace every experience that comes along in your lives, even if you perceive it to not be so pleasant in the moment. Because there is no good or bad experience. It is just an experience that helps you clarify your focus. Clarify and navigate better in this game of life. Do you understand these concepts that we have been saying now? For we are jumping around a bit, but do you understand Can you use this wisdom and this knowledge to improve your life and be more at peace? Do you think? We hope so. Because if everyone on your world understood that there are no good or bad experiences, just experiences that come along that are frequency matches to the vibration that you are offering, 
by your feelings, mm -hmm. you are drawing these experiences to you based on how you feel, what you are focused on, how you are aligned or misaligned with emotions. And so when you understand and truly accept at your core that every experience that comes into your life, you are drawing it to you by your vibration, you realize and take 100% responsibility for your vibrational choices. And that means you embrace your power. You stop thinking of yourself as a victim, regardless of what is going on around the world. You are never a victim. That is a mindset that you were taught to keep you powerless, to keep you from creating magnificent lives. Think of all the people who have been beaten down and have given up dreams. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they're worthy. They don't believe that they have any power to change their situation. And so they have given up. They have proclaimed to the universe, I am a victim. Let me prove it to you. Look at my situation. If only someone could snap them out of it and say, you're powerful. Change your mind. Flick the switch. Change your focus. Change your vibration. Start laughing. Start singing. Whatever it is, just, just feel a little bit better. Their lives would change. Not immediately, drastically, that is, but in an instant, if you go from depression to laughter, you feel one heck of a lot better, don't you? A lot better. And if only more people on your world could just laugh and smile more, your world would be a much happier place. More people would be, we should say, in a place of contentment and peace in their lives. Enjoying each day to the fullest, even if something doesn't quite happen the way they expect, they just know, okay, well, it all works out anyway, so it'll be interesting to see what happens after this. That, dear ones, is a whole different mindset to begin using this year, this moment, anything that comes along. Just say, hmm, okay, well, that didn't quite happen the way I expected, but everything is working out to my highest good, so, hmm, obviously this was meant to happen, so why did it happen? Am I not clear? Am I not vibrating exactly what I wish to create? Start questioning your own vibration and your own feelings when your external world and not, we're talking about, countries away from you, your immediate surroundings, your life situations. If something's not happening exactly the way you think or are feeling your way toward, like this creation, if you're doing the baking or the clay or the glass, it just means you have a little bit of tweaking in your vibration to do. That's all. And when you acknowledge that, and go, okay, well, mm, okay, I just have a little refocusing to do, so, hmm, okay, let's do it. What's not quite, what doesn't quite sit well with me right now? How can I change that? How can I repicture it? How can I rephrase it? Hmm, the words are very important, dear ones. How you speak about yourselves, how you speak about your situation, how you speak about your lives. Pay attention because everything is vibration. Your words have frequency. When you go to a restaurant and you place an order, you don't just point to a picture. You verbalize what you wish. The same happens in the universe. Pay attention to what you ask for. Not only verbally, but with your vibration. Because 
your vibration, your feelings speak louder vibrationally than your words. Unless you're shouting with intense emotion off the rooftops of excitement, but the average person is not feeling intense emotion when they're speaking. Most of it You could think of it as a mixed soup of vibrations. And so that is why things don't seem to make any movement in their lives. Because there's too many different vibrations in the so-called soup. They haven't figured out what they want to create. And so they never really get to where they want to go. And so what we're asking you to do is, Get clarity in your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts and your visualizations. Get them in alignment with your intentions. And you'll be amazed at how quickly the universe brings you situations, signs, those synchronicities that prove to you that your vibration is creating. And you are getting closer to the physical manifestation of whatever it is vibrationally you are asking for. Does this make sense? Good. Play, dear ones. Play with your clay. Play with your dough. Play with the glass. And realize occasionally, this medium actually is thinking about, she watched some glass blowing competition show many months ago. And when they are blowing their glass, sometimes things break and they have to start over and think of a better way to do it or somehow to refocus or to change their, you could call it qualities or aspects is better of whatever it is they're creating. So realize, just as we mentioned, If something doesn't seem completely there, if your glass breaks, if your dough falls flat, hmm? if your cookies burn, hmm? try again. You're still learning. Try a different combination. All in trial and error is what we are asking you to do and to understand. Your life is a game Use your emotional guidance system to feel your way to your dreams and focus your intentions on anything that makes you feel awesome, amazing, excited, joyful, whatever it is. The better feeling, the stronger the frequency output, transmission, and the larger, not larger, the bigger magnetic pole. And magnets attract like vibrations. So you are always, think of yourselves as a walking magnet walking around your planet. What are you attracting? It is based on the vibration that you are transmitting from your physical form, by your thoughts and your feelings. And with that, we will say, enjoy your creation this year. Have fun. Get ready for an amazing, creative, abundant year. Use your God-given creative gift as it was intended to create joy and abundance and an amazing life for yourselves and the world around you. Our blessings to you. We are complete with the instruction portion. And we shall proceed now with the healing of your beautiful Gaia. Dear ones, now that you have (laughs) had a bit of a review of sorts, Let us bathe in the golden wisdom of your creator, this golden ray of wisdom 
of source. Fill yourselves from head to toe as though bathing in this, you could think of it as a soothing honey if it slowly bathes down throughout your being. Let it sink in until your entire physical form is a radiant golden light and then allow it to shine brighter beyond your physical and expand. Feel your expansion out into your etheric bodies, your spiritual layers, and all aspects of your being across all dimensions of space and time for you are unlimited consciousness. Allow this light to shine as above, so below, in all timelines, in all dimensions of your being. Just vibrate this golden light and fill and ask, intend to have the highest vibration that you are able to carry at this time and allow it to resonate through your being. Feel it. Feel your physical form. Feel the vibration or see the light, whatever it is, your perceptions. Continue to anchor it in to your being in this form. Even though you are truly not physical forms. And allow yourselves to expand into a golden ball of light. Almost perceiving, if possible, that you are truly just a light being. Allow yourselves to feel as though you are light. Your body may be vibrating. You may not be able to completely perceive your hands or feet, perhaps. Just feel vibration within your being. See yourselves as golden light. And from your heart space, radiate this wisdom. Envision as though you are stars around your planet, your beautiful Gaia, bright in the night sky, and let your golden light shine down on your world, bathing your world in this golden wisdom, allowing it to wrap her. <laughs> like ribbons of gold, as though you would wrap a gift for this holiday season that you just completed. Mm -hmm. Megan's even thinking you can put a bow on top, almost like putting a cherry on top. But allow this golden ray to wrap around your world, covering her and sinking in to all life, to all of humanity, the plants, the animals. Imagine your beautiful world glowing in gold, sinking in, turning the waters to a golden hue, allowing this wisdom to flow throughout your planet, wherever the water goes, 
in all its forms. And when you have envision your beautiful earth as a golden ball of light in your you could call it universe since you are outside like stars around allow this golden light to go out and radiate and pulse beyond your universe and allow this and set the intention that it just goes this wisdom wherever it is needed across all dimensions of space and time. And now fill yourselves with the silver ray of compassion. And radiate this silver ray from head to toe. Feel this vibration within your being, within your heart space. Allow your heart space to be radiating and filled with compassion. And add the pink ray as well so it will be a silvery pink light with the unconditional love and compassion blending. Almost like a metallic pink, silvery metallic pink. Combining and swirling and blending frequencies, compassion and love. And allow your heart space to fill with these two rays and radiate outward to your entire being. And when you are filled to capacity and beyond, just allow this beautiful pink and silver ray to flow down and bathe your world and wrap your beautiful Gaia as we did with the gold. Sending this compassion and love to all life, to all humanity, plants and animals, the water, the land, and all the etheric beings that assist your world to be in balance, the elemental realm. See your beautiful Gaia lighting up, filling when she's completely bathed in this silvery pink ray, wrapping her, sinking it in until she radiates this silvery pink light. And allow this, hold this vibration to just flow through you, dear ones, as so many others are holding space as well. Allow this gentle silver and pink ray to radiate and pulse outward from your world out into the universe, sending compassion and love in all dimensions of space and time, knowing that it is going wherever it is needed. And all who are receptive will receive whatever they are willing in all timelines, in all dimensions of space and time. And now anchor in this emerald ray within your being Fill yourselves with the green ray for healing. And fill your heart's space with this emerald ray. And allow your being to glow this green ray, expanding more and more from your heart's space until you naturally overflow and bathe your world once more. Now in the emerald ray. Sending healing to your beautiful Gaia to assist all life to go through these vibrational changes, to assist with healing in the higher realms, the higher vibrations, touching the hearts of all people, animals, 
even the plant consciousness. Send healing to the water. Envision it as imbued with this green ray. Sending healing to all areas where there are toxins, lower vibrations, where there were disruptions such as earthquakes, volcanoes, assisting your beautiful Earth Mother in her healing process to release with ease and grace and to ease her gentle releasing as best she can. For there is only so much that she can take. And she is healing just as all life is healing upon her. All life raising their vibration, conscious or unconscious of it, it matters not. For all of you are on this ride on this beautiful planet of yours through your galaxy. And much, much more is yet to come. And so allow this green ray to go into the ley lines to heal the lower vibrational energies of consciousness that have been plaguing your world to assist with healing those energies, healing those energetic grids already filled with love and compassion and wisdom. Send this beautiful emerald ray to anyone now that you know needs special healing. Could be a friend or family member or a pet. Whoever comes to mind, just envision them in your mind and bathe them in the green ray. While you hold this higher vibration but also of wisdom, love, compassion and healing for yourselves. Send these beautiful rays of light to all of your family members and friends that you have dealt with in these holiday weeks. Bless them. Intend that they receive whatever they are willing and let it go. Maintain your vibration. Allow them to walk their path with their own free will and their own creative abilities. Whether they are awake or not. All will awaken in divine timing to their power, to higher levels of consciousness. They have no choice. It always happens eventually. But it is their free will as to when. And so maintain your space, your vibration, for that is the only vibration that you are able to maintain by your intention, your focus, and your thoughts. Make your way back into this space, dear ones, while maintaining the vibration that you have been working with. Anchor it in to your being. Send these beautiful energies down your grounding cord to heal and give Give the compassion and the love and the wisdom also from you directly down to your Earth Mother through your connection. Thanking her for her support, the life that she has provided, and all that she has done for humanity and your planet, your world, and life on your world. 
We thank you for this work, dear ones. Remember the teachings. Remember the clay or the dough or the glass and however you decide to create. Enjoy your creations. And may you have a wonderful new year ahead of you with blessings of abundance, happiness, joy, health, prosperity, and so much more, what more that you could dream of. Whatever you could dream and imagine, may it come to fruition. Of course, all in divine timing, based on your vibration. As you align, you get closer to creating and manifesting in the material realm. Just stay focused and feel as good as you can to keep it as simple as possible. Blessings to all of you, dear ones. Gently make your way back into the space and remember to only focus on the rest of this night positive topics to keep your vibration high as you go into your slumber and kick off the new year with these wonderful energies. Blessings, and we will speak again soon.